Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Gas the Gengar, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. Last time we left off, we sat for an hour, and we got through the Team Rocket hideout over here in Mahogany Town. And now, oh, we also got not one, but four new Pokemon, and one of them was just a Latios. We named him Jet because you know he's a really fast Pokemon. Uh, what nature are you? Serious? I don't. I don't know what natures do. I'm not even gonna make pretend that I know. Um. So yeah, we we're still holding up to our rule of just one of each primary type. Um, let's check out our moves because honestly, I feel like we want. To I want to teach something to Latias because he doesn't really have a lot of good moves right now. I think Flash Cannon might be good. You know we have. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry. We have two of them, so I'm in as well. Uh, let's get rid of Helping Hand, because honestly, I'm, I'm... I never... I have never found one situation where Helping Hand was actually useful. And so, yeah. Um, this is the Monday episode. Uh, if you're wondering why I have to clarify that much to myself, is because... Uh, I'm recording this right after the last episode, as you can see from the time of day and all that. Um... Basically, I usually just record the three episodes at a time, but I wanted to actually have time to stream this week, and usually my time is consumed by either editing videos or uploading them or recording them. So, you know, was, I just thought, hey, may as well, you know. Um, now, this gym, as you can see, is full of ice puzzles. Uh, you know, it's not bad. Uh, if anything, it's still, I still prefer this way more to, uh, the 8th gym in, Ho uh, yeah, Hoenn. Um, so I think I should honestly take Jet out for a bit to train, because even though we just caught him, he's still only level 21. Which, I mean, it's not bad. It's by no means low, but as you can see, we're going to now into, like, the level 30 area. And we're really close to the 8th gym. Like, honestly, I think there's just going to be one thing that happens in Golden Run after this, and then... Boom. We need to go there, do that, and then go to Blackthorn City and get the last badge, and then the Pokemon. We're so close already. Steelix, switch out Pokemon. Let's go for Jet. Um, even though, honestly, I think this was actually a bad decision, because I don't think Jet can really do anything to the Steelix. Uh, I mean, I guess Dragon Breath, Stab, and, you know, I don't think Steel, oh, uh, never mind. I, I didn't know Steel resisted Dragon type moves, so let's just go with the Flash Can. I don't think Steel resists Steel. That'd be pretty weird. Okay, never mind. So, I guess we're switching out to Quagsire. Um, Jet got his two cents in. Oof. Uh, we might need to teleport. Not teleport. We don't need to teleport anymore. We have to fucking fly. Uh, we might need to fly to another city real quick to go shopping because I have no healing items and if someone gets a status ailment, we're kind of screwed. I'm probably going to buy a couple of full heals. Uh, and then maybe some more Pokeballs. Yeah, I I think, yeah, after this battle, I'm definitely going to the store. Um, I don't remember if this is the generation where they started, like, after every gym badge, the store is unlocked more, if it's, like, one of the more location-based areas, but um, I think I'm going to go to all of Vine City since this place doesn't have a Pokemart. Let me just get my way out of here. Um, now that I think about it, the only reason we added Bird to our team is because we'd want our Edge Bird. Uh, it was because we wanted a Pokemon that can learn Fly. But now we have Latias that can learn Fly and a bunch of other moves. Uh, let's go to Ecritic City. Uh, let's try there first, and then if they don't have something we need, then we'll just go to Olivine Cities. No, not Olivine. Where is it? Bro, I'm losing my mind. Like, the last time I couldn't stop saying the wrong name. But now, oh, Cinnabar. Is it Cinnabar? No, isn't... 
I am losing my mind. Anyway, yeah, he has all the stuff. So let's get a couple of full heals. They have none. Let's make it like one, ten. Yeah, ten. Um, and then for super repels, let's get like five. Um, uh, I think we might have some things to sell. Um, let's see. Uh, we can't, none of this is going to sell for a lot. None of that's going to sell for a lot. I'm not going to sell for a lot. The rock incense. I think incense is sell for a good chunk. Yeah. We don't use rock. We don't have anything that even uses rock type moves, so that's just pointless to have. Uh, raises if it moves you know, use multiple times. And I think quick powder only works on dittos, right? Yeah. Toxic orb. We're gonna keep because this was the generation where they added in my favorite. Well, not my favorite. My favorite to use in battle, but not my favorite poison type. Um, but I'm hoping that eventually we might, we might get a Goli score. I didn't even buy any potions. And Goli score has this ability called Poison Heal. So if we can throw that Toxic Orb on him, he'll heal every turn. Like if he was holding a, uh, what are they called? Um, I don't think we need Hyper Potions just yet, so let's pass on that. Um, poison Heal. And poison heal basically every turn you're poisoned, instead of being poisoned, you heal off of it. I should have bought three so I can even it out. So now we have 40 Ultra Balls. We have... We... we have 30 Super Potions. And I think that's all we really need to buy. I bought some full heals, right? Yeah, I bought 10 full heals, and that should be good enough. Uh, I don't think we have any revives, so let's get a couple of those. Now that we have money, we can actually properly, like, let's buy 10 of those. And then we still have 18,000 left over, so that's not bad. You know, I honestly thought when they got here, I would just be out of money, but, you know, I just want to be at least a little prepared if something ca if something actually goes down. You know, it doesn't seem like there's a, uh, what I'm trying to say, uh, it doesn't seem like there's actually a lot of things, like, happening, like, major-wise, like, I'm still in like the Pokemon Coliseum mindset right now because even then things are still challenging here and there. Um, and you know, I just there I actually need to be prepared. But so far in here, it's like everything's pretty evened out. Like we haven't really struggled. I don't. Think we've, I think the only time we've really struggled was the first gym because uh, our Pokemon were kind of trash. We didn't really have a lot. Alright, so Biker Forest. Lord, you're not a biker, but I'll, I'll take your word on it. Oh yeah, we were supposed to switch to Jet so he could get some experience. Did I not heal before? I'm trying to make some bad decisions. I, I thought, like, that I healed when I left here, but apparently not. So, that's a yikes. Um, hopefully though, we, I think we have a Hyper Potion or something. Oh wait, no, we didn't, we just used the Hyper Potion. Uh, we got this Max Potion at least, so let's use that on Jet. Even though Super Potion would have been enough, we don't really need a Max Potion right now. And we can just buy him later. And even then, we won't, I'm not going out of my way of buying a, a Max Potion. When, uh, full restores exist, that's what they're called. Full restores are max potions, but they also heal status ailments, if you didn't know. So that's obviously what I'm going to go for if I have the extra money, which at the moment, um, actually, since I got no healing items on Bird, I should really honestly give him, I should give whoever is first in my party the amulet coin slash lucky thing I don't remember. I don't the lucky incense. This is I might need to look through my TMs again because 
for right now, Weasel does not, uh, not Weasel, uh, Jet doesn't have a lot of good moves. I use Dragon Breath there, but I'm pretty sure that, I'm like 95% sure that Water resists Dragon. Either way though, it's a stab move, so we'll do a little bit more, of course. Oh yeah, because he's also a steel type, so right now we're at a huge disadvantage. So we need to go back out to Edgebird. Actually, no, let's go into Metalhead. Um, because, you know, we, we did just spend like $40,000. You know, it doesn't seem like that much, but goddamn, Ultra Balls are expensive. And I think we resist this. Yeah. If you keep this pace, you might actually beat the episode or beat the gym and have a little bit more left to do in the episode. Ooh, how did you do that? A Palm. I don't have any fighting type Pokemon, so I guess going back to Jet since again he is the one that needs the most experience out of everyone here. Let's go for Dragon Breath again. I honestly forgot the Dragon Breath can paralyze. Not gonna lie. Oh, so close. So yeah, let's go into our bag and let's give the Lucky Incense. Oof. To Jet, and then let's heal up our team. I honestly forgot we had the Moon Milk and the Berry Juice. But we can't get more berry juice because we don't actually have a shuckle, so I'm gonna pass on that. Um, so push this here and we go. No, I think I might have fucked it up. I'm trying to think. Push this up that way. Yeah. And push this right. I actually know. I think I have a. Yeah, I just fucked that up. Ooh, a dragon type. Well, that just means that we're gonna be good for this fight. You know, I never understood why Dragon's weak against Dragon. Or why Altari is even considered a Dragon. Like, it's obviously a flying type. If anything, flying normal. It just doesn't look like a Dragon. Good on you. But yeah, I thought. Well, reset again. <sighs> I honestly hate ice puzzles in Pokemon. They're not fun. Um, let's see. If I go up and right and down, I can land. Block and go right. Okay. 
can't push that. Fuck! I don't know what to do, and I feel so stupid for it. Spoing, good thing this is a psychic type, so we should be good, you know. You know, if a Splunk needs the bounce every time to pump its heart to keep it alive, what would happen if you just picked it up? Would would Splunk die if you tried picking it up? Like, is there a limit to how many, like, times the heart will beat after it jumps, or, like... Splunk's distance is pain, like, legit straight up. Come on! You can do it! Yeah! Magby... Alright, let's... Yeah, when it comes to Pokemon... Jet's definitely way behind. If we find some rare candies, we're definitely gonna have to give them to him. Either that, or we can, I think we could use our stat boosting thing on him. Surf. You know, he's a legendary. Look at the stats naturally. He doesn't need it. Come on. It's a Magby. It's a baby mon. Come on. Quagsire. Accuracy was lowered, so this is probably going to be a pain. Yep. Come on. One shot. Oh my God! Why do you hate me? Try to solve the stupid puzzle. At least they made it so there's multiple ways for you to get back to the entrance. That would have been embarrassing. This, we end up on that block. Try maybe we do have to push that up. So like shit. Wait, no, I think wait. I think we need to land on that kid. I think we need to push the block up, land on that kid, and then move left from there. I'm trying to put it together in my head, but it's not fitting. God, I 
I'm being so stupid right now. Why well, if I just push them both over to the right? Can't do that. I did it! I am the smart boy. I am the video game boy. Oh shit, I didn't read any of his lines. I do not lose easily. I pierce the winter train. You shall just demonstrate my power. I'm sorry, Pierce. Joe. Oh, is it Jojo? Poet Joe. So now, Persian. So we should be good. New Dragon Breath run out of PP though. I can't. Is Jet more of a physical? Oh, wait, that. Oh my god, Jet! Holy shit, dude! Fire type move though, you're gone. Alright, so we're gonna need Sire out. <laughs> Whoops. Completely thought like I would be able to just tank any shot, but yep, yep, there it is. Keeping Metalhead out would have been the worst decision we've made. Um, so let's use revives on Jet. Opportunity to, to just try another turn. I think Growth will actually fuck Sire up. Let me guess, a citrus berry, am I right? It's always a citrus berry. Why does everyone. You know that move's kind of pointless if you go first, right? Well. That's what I get for going for fucking Mud Bomb. Um, Clarence is gonna get hurt. Mind Freak gonna go. Uh, I think Jet's faster. So we might be able to use. Uh. Drag it to breath. Wow! Live. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're not even messing around with that. Actually, we can! Cleopatra, my girl, my lady, my queen! You are quite the traitor. I don't know why I'm giving that voice, it sounds nasty. Eh, you know. At least he's smart enough not to try using psychic type moves. Oh, he's beefy. Hey, critical hit. Seems my luck. They just skip through it on their own. You don't even have to touch anything. You can't read that. 
I'm impressed by your prowess. With all the strong will, I know they will overcome the obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Whoop, whoop. Was that badge number seven? This badge will raise special attacks to Pokemon. You like the Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools, and this is a gift for me. It's EMO7. Yeah, yeah, he fucking. Uh, Team Hail summons whatever. So instead of giving us TM07, which I'm assuming is what he gave us, 07, 07, Dizzy Punch. Uh, not bad. So with that being our seventh patch, Yep, we now have seven of the eight badges of the Johto region, and we're reaching a close on the first half of the game. Um, holy shit, this game's been going by fast. And this is gonna be Professor Elm telling us about them. how are things going. I called because something weird's happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Chance, do you know anything about that? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. And yeah, then just as I predicted, that's what, that's where this is going. So I think I'm gonna stop here for the night. I know I want I wanted to record the rest of the session, but honestly, I just sat and recorded like two hours worth of footage. So I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Um, of course, let's leave off. Oh wait, actually, let's leave off in Goldenrod City. Since that's where we're gonna have to go next episode anyway. That way, I don't have to remember if I did or did not do anything next time I load in. All right, so that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we're we'll taking on Team Rocket in the radio tower. Um, you know, once we get there. Oof! That's a loud ass sound. So, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, and this is me forgetting the stuff again. Follow me on Twitter for updates on videos and just keeping up with me. Follow me on Twitch if you want. Oh, and follow me on Twitter if you want updates so when I'm going live on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch if you also wish to know when I'm going live, if you have the app. Um, and just, if you want to come around and just hang out. Those streams are really fun, and I just enjoy having people around. So, I hope you all had a wonderful day, and until next time, bye bye <laughs>